Cardiff is one of the fastest growing cities in the UK. Lots of new people moving here all the time. Universities, lots of growing businesses, so a really exciting place. So our capital ambition programme for the next five years is to adopt smart city technology, something we're committed to do to the residents of Cardiff, so that can involve all sorts of different things. For us, it's saving public money, so it's going to make the cost of lighting a lot cheaper, but also allows us to be a lot more effective with it, have a lot more control over it. Cardiff is a world-class city and hosts some of the biggest sporting events across the world. We recently hosted the Champions League final and we host the Six Nations every year. So that had to be an important consideration for the visitors coming to our events. But more importantly, we needed to understand the needs of the residents and the variable lighting levels that may be required across our city. So the benefits for Cardiff are that we are reducing our energy by about 50 to 60 percent in our street lighting asset. This is saving us £800,000 per annum. Also, Cardiff Council has got the ambitious target of being carbon neutral in the near future. So we're just nearing completion of rolling out 14,000 LED connected lanterns using the City Charge Central Monitoring System and this has given myself and the other officers within the street lighting total control both remotely and from the office. Philips City Charge System with the connected lights we've been installing has been invaluable. It's allowed us to not only see where our contractors are working because the green markers light up immediately that they're connected, but also it's been able to set lighting levels just at the flick of a button. For the City Touch benefits the residents of Cardiff, we can share information much more easily between the emergency services and the council. That allows us, if there's an incident on the main routes into and out of the city, we can set up diversionary routes so the incident doesn't impact too much on the people who live, work or visit Cardiff. Think about their daily business. Part of the consultation was a real-life testbed. Within that, we could actually uh, modify a streetscape and show the community, uh, including individuals from uh, councillors right the way through to our local deaf representatives, um, how the streetscape could actually be beneficial and be modified to, to match their needs. Lighting will certainly benefit the city's residents. By way of example, with the deaf community, they'll be able to communicate after dark, which historically hasn't been the opportunity for them. historically has been a driving force behind any city's advance and as such our lighting is certainly among the best, if not the best in the world.